Hey guys, so it is time for a monthly favorites video. The trend lately has been that I do these every other month, so I think I'm just going to keep going with that trend. If that works for you guys, I have been on a product kick lately, but I've been buying them this month, so I haven't really had a full month to really appreciate them yet, but I do have some new products to show you. Um, that might be familiar, but might not be, I don't know. Basically, I'm showing you products today that I have not talked about in a favorites video before, which is nice. First up, I've been loving my customized MAC palette, specifically the newest, uh, three editions, I guess, uh, are new, is this one here, which is Brown Script, and then this one, which is Sable, and this one, which is Folly, or Foley, how do you pronounce it? But my favorite favorite has been Brown Script. Oh my gosh, I've been wearing this every single day. I'm wearing it today as like a transition crease color, and it just really warms up the look, and it's really good on blue eyes, but it can work on any color eyes, obviously. When did that fall out? I didn't see that go. Not all of these are magnetized. And today I hit pan on nylon, which is also something I've been wearing every single day. I'm wearing it today on the lid and inner corner highlight, and it's just one of my favorite, favorite colors. So I will be doing a whole video all about this palette and what the other colors are, because I get so many questions about it. Um, it is like my holy grail palette though because I made it so obviously I love everything in it. Next we have some new brow products that I recently picked up but I haven't used them that much but I feel like with brow products you don't really need to use them a while to figure out if you like them or not. You just like them right off the bat, right? So these are too light for my eyebrows as of now but I've been loving the whole process that I've been doing with these. So I start off with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. It's really really similar to the Anastasia um, brow is because it's so skinny and just really like um, a hard eyeliner type of consistency so it's really good for just like drawing on your eyebrows like I have to do. So what I do is because this is too light I use it as a base on my eyebrows so I kind of map out where I want to put all the product and what shape I'm going for and then I go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown and I kind of, I don't use the dip brow like in the front part of my eyebrows. Let me know if you want a new updated brow routine because it's been a while and I don't use the products that I used in my last one. And then I'll go in with the NYX um, Tinted Brow Mascara. So these are new products I believe to uh, NYX, but they're super affordable, like six bucks each. This one is in the shade Brunette, which is a really good color. It kind of lightens up the eyebrow hairs a little bit, so I just think it looks really natural and I've been loving how my eyebrows have been turning out lately, so let me know if you want a new eyebrow routine. Next, as an overall general favorite, has been um, the pen for- what are these called? Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner. There we go. This is the Milani iTech Mini Liquid Eyeliner, and this is what I've been using every day. And I like that it's a mini, but it's like the same size as anything, really. Like, that doesn't look too many to me. And I do feel like these dry out a lot quicker, but what I like is you don't have to like re-dip them into a little jar thing or anything like that. So I've been liking just felt tip liquid eyeliner lately and it's been faster and just easier for me to work with. So, so if you saw my haul, you know that I've been super into nude nails and my favorite of the bunch that I bought, I bought three. Um, my favorite of them has been the Essie Topless and Barefoot. It's just like a really light pinky type of shade and it's just so pretty. I don't have it on right now. Now, what I have on right now is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry in Sandstorm, and this one's shipped, don't mind that. But it is more of a gray, it's like a grayish, but as you can see, it's a lot more gray than the Essie ones, more pink, so. But I love the Essie one, it makes my nails look super long and feminine without being like pink on my nails. Like, I used to be into that kind of look, but I like having it be a nude, but a pink undertone, so it's somewhat feminine, but still nude. A lipstick that I've been reaching for a lot lately is a new MAC purchase. This is Blankety, and it's just like the perfect, perfect, perfect nude. It is a amplified formula, so it's really pigmented, and it is kind of shiny, as you can see, and, you know, has that sheen, but it just looks like my lips, but better, and it's such a nice color. It wears off really easily, so if you know you're going out or eating or something you don't have to worry about it getting all over the place it's just a nude it'll just wear off by itself and it looks really natural and nice next I've been loving 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 the Elizabeth and James uh, Nirvana white perfume oh my goodness this is just so good and so I mean I talked about it in my haul but I've been wearing it so much since I got it all month pretty much and I just mm, 
it's very very floral but if you're more into the muskier scents they have the black version which is very musky and a little too much for me so this one's my pick out of the two but yeah I've been really stepping up my skincare game lately. Sarah number two and I have been talking about how when we get paid we want to splurge a little bit on skincare, which I've already done some of that because on my 25th birthday I went to Sephora and bought an anti-aging eye cream and well it's more like a hydrating eye cream and I've just been really into skincare lately and like really taking care of my skin, especially now that I'm in my mid-twenties. Um, it's about prevention, not treatment. One of my favorite things has been this Mario Badescu chamomile night cream. It has vitamin A in it and chamomile, and it's just really, really soothing for sensitive skin. It says it's for skin types, combination dry and sensitive. So if you're any of those, this would be good for you. And I love it. It's so hydrating. You need like the smallest amount to just put all over your face and neck, and it is just so nice my skin feels so hydrated when I wake up in the morning still and it's just a really nice consistency and you get a lot of product for how much you pay for it I don't know how much it was I think it was around 20 22 24 something like that I love all of the Mara Badescu skincare products and I think I am going to splurge a little bit more on that and philosophy because the eye cream I got was in philosophy or from philosophy so I think I'm gonna splurge a little bit more on those two skincare brands because I've been really loving them for fashion favorite I rarely include these because I kind of wear the same things all the time but the first thing has been this new bag I got on my birthday uh, for myself and it's by the brand Matt and Nat which is sold at Urban this is in the Urban Outfitters sales section right now for $40 it was 80 or 79 or something like that it is so nice. It's I love it way more than I thought I did when I bought it because I have a bag similar in size um, that I got from Forever 21 that I use all the time. But after using this for a while, this bag is like twice or three times the size of that other bag when I thought it was not. Like it's a, just a black hole of stuff in here. I can literally keep my whole life in here but it's not so big that it's like overwhelming. I wear it with the strap you know, a crossbody like that. Next, I've been loving this combination up here, as you see. I got these items from Depop, um, which I'm obsessed with scrolling through. Oh my goodness, I've just been like addicted to Depop. I just posted some stuff yesterday <laughs> and um, everything pretty much sold out. I posted it because I was gonna mention it in this video and so you guys can go buy my stuff, but then I wasn't anticipating that everything would sell out by the time I post this video. So no fret, I should be posting something before I post this video or a couple more things. So hopefully those things are available and I will continue to just continuously post my clothes on there, the ones that I don't want anymore. So you can buy my stuff, I will have the link down below, but it's just if you Google, not Google, but if you search Sarah Hawkinson on there or at Sarah Hawkinson, that is my Depop. I've been loving it so much. It's basically like Instagram. So this has been the combination of the favorite thingies. It's a Brandy Melville top that says Gnarly on it, and it's so, so cute. It's a cropped one. And then this necklace, which is like a, a crystal and a bullet. So I'll have the sellers that I got these from listed down below. And then as you know, I got that cockroach shirt that so many people hated. It was so funny to see all your guys' reactions to that cro uh, cockroach shirt, but I will link that seller down below too. The next favorite I have is this little jar that I created of my little succulents. And um, I wanted to do a fake little succulent terrarium because I kill things. I don't get enough sunlight in my room and I don't have anywhere to put anything um, to get sunlight so I'd have to have it out in the living room and then I can't enjoy it so I made a fake one. I got the jar from Goodwill which was like 99 cents and all the plants and rocks. These are rocks not marshmallows guys. So many people on Instagram thought these are marshmallows. I got all this stuff from Beverly's. They have really good fake succulents. I mean I think it looks real and it's super cute. I really like it. Next are a couple of media favorites of movies and music I've been loving. Firstly with music, I have been loving Tycho's Awake album. I've just been listening to this in the car and it's so relaxing and peaceful. And when it's springtime, I really enjoy um, this kind of music, like the electronica, new agey type music, I don't know. I've been listening to a lot of Astronautica on my Spotify and stuff like that. And then I will link my SoundCloud 
down below. I keep forgetting to do that on my in my blog. I forgot to do that, but um, I've been trying to create a playlist on there to share with you guys, and I'm thinking about doing maybe monthly playlists or something like that, since you guys love my music taste, um, which means that you have awesome music taste too. But you guys always ask me about music and stuff, so I thought I would create some playlists for you guys, maybe monthly. I don't know yet. You let me know how you want to do that, but yeah, just so you guys can hear what I'm listening to and stuff like that. As far as movies, oh my gosh, I went and saw Insurgent on Saturday, this past Saturday. Oh my god. It was so much better than I thought it was going to be. In fact, it was better than the first one. It was so good. I loved it. And I loved the first one, but it wasn't like as good. I think the music selection in that one was stupid. So lastly, another thing that I've been doing, okay, first off, I'm gonna do a little announcement, which I'm still, it's in the works, and I don't want to like, you know, freak you guys out or anything, or like, I don't know, it freaks me out. I might be moving, and I know I've said that so many times, I don't remember, or I don't even know how many times I've gone to my mom and said, I might be moving out, just to let her know, um, and then it not happening, but this time it might actually be happening. I would be living by myself, um, which would be super exciting, because I did that before, as you guys know, and it was so nice, and I miss it, so... I was just kind of looking at my budget and my income and things like that and seeing if I could do it again and I can but the thing that might be like prolonging that is uh, taxes and um, I'm going to Vegas in the early May so I'm kind of saving up for that trip which I will be vlogging that whole experience by the way I'm going to the Rock and Rio show Oh my god, I cried when I saw the lineup. I'm not even kidding. So it's been kind of hard to decide if I really want to do that or not. So I'm trying to find like other ways that I can save some money up and not spend so much because I've been shopping way, way, way too much. So one thing I wanted to mention you guys that I've been doing is Opinion Outpost. And yes, they came to me to talk about it. But when I saw what it was and what it was about, I was like, that's so cool. Like I would love to do that, something like that and share it with you guys. So it's basically a survey site where you take surveys from companies about products and services and things that you have used and you get money for it. You basically collect points and the points can be redeemed for iTunes gift cards, Amazon gift cards, or cash. I will have a link to Opinion Outpost down below. You do have to be 18 to do it, um, but it's super easy. It's really, really easy to make money off of it. I mean, you have to have 100 points to collect ten dollars but like if you have free time and take some surveys like that is it for my favorites video and I hope you enjoyed and let me know what you've been loving this month and what kind of videos you'd want to see next I am on spring break as of this moment so excited so I'm hoping to get a bunch of videos out to you guys like or at least filmed so when I do go back to school I have a bunch to post and yeah so let me know what you guys want to see during my spring break and I will talk to you guys soon